Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for watching, for liking and subscribing and sharing with your friends. So today's another edition of where to stay in Walt Disney World. Today is the second edition of the deluxe resorts. I will link the monorail resorts up above as well as down below. I have also talked about the value resorts and the moderate resorts as well as benefits to stay at a Walt Disney World owned property. I'll link all those doo -doo -doo below and above you'll see the little thing come out. So let's get started. We're gonna pick out an Epcot location resort or the Disney Springs or Animal Kingdom Resort. So, so Epcot has a bunch of resorts right now. Right within walking distance to Epcot is the Boardwalk Inn and then the two sister resorts, Beach Club and Yacht Club. They are literally steps away from Epcot. And a little further away, you can totally walk to it, is Hollywood Studios. If you don't wanna walk, they have a boat. The other one that is brand new is Disney's Riviera Resort. This is a Disney Vacation Club Resort, totally, but you can stay there with cash. They are an Epcot Resort and they are on the new Skyliner, one of my new favorite modes of transportation, you guys know. If you've watched my other video, I will link the Caribbean Beach one up above. I loved walking around the Caribbean Beach and I love taking the Skyliner. So, where is right for your family to stay? Well, that all depends. I personally, it's hard for me not to say my favorite, but my personal favorite is probably for a family vacation, the beach club. You can't beat that pool. It is the best pool on property. It's huge. They have a huge pirate ship water slide and they have a little water slide too for the little ones. They have a lazy river, they have a sandy bottom area. It is the coolest. Now, the Yacht Club is a sister resort so you, can, you can't go wrong at either resort. They have some great spots to eat like Beaches and Cream, um, Ale and Compass and I love, what I love about this resort is the community over at Boardwalk. You can totally walk over to the Boardwalk Resort where they have Ample Hill Creamery, they have a pizza window, margarita stand. It's just such a nice vibe in the evening that's totally family friendly. So both of Boardwalk, Beach Club, and Yacht Club will all sleep five people in two queen beds in one of those pull down sofas. I haven't slept in one of those pull down sofas but they are the deluxe resort size, so I think you could fit an adult. I'm 5'9". If I had to, I would totally sleep on one of those. I think my favorite thing about any of these resorts is the walkability to Epcot and Hollywood Studios. I also, being from New England, I totally love the vibe at Beach Club and Yacht Club. So fun. Now, if you wanted a different vibe, I, for an adult trip, my go-to spot for maybe a little more grown-up trip, trip is the Boardwalk Resort. Um, the reason I say this is for more of an adult feel, I think because like your resort refillable mug station is out on the Boardwalk, it's just not as convenient and not as quick. Um, but it's just, um, it's got a more adult vibe. I totally love it, would totally stay here. It would be such a cool honeymoon spot because of your location. And the newest Riviera Resort. Gorgeous. They have a multitude of rooms being a Disney Vacation Club Resort. They have a really small studio that sleeps two people. I probably wouldn't pay the money to stay in this room just for the fact that it is a pull down sofa, which I don't know. I would love to try it out one day, but it's a little out of my budget per se. But that alone, I think the standard rooms here are gorgeous. Standard rooms are going to have one queen bed and then like a pull out sofa. Um, the Skyliner station is beautiful. Um, definitely worth going over to check out. They have some wonderful restaurants, great coffee spots. It's a beautiful spot. The other deluxe resort locations are Animal Kingdom or Disney Springs. Can you guess what's at Animal Kingdom? Yep, the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Now, this resort, there's actually two resorts because one is a Disney Vacation Club resort and one is a standard resort. I, if you're gonna stay at the Animal Kingdom Resort, you have to pay the extra money and get the Savannah view. That's what you're there for, right? I think if I were to stay here, I recommend it. It's not a get up and go, go, go type of place. 
you are a bus to all theme parks here in Disney Springs, which is totally fine. You could totally have a relaxing vacation just at this resort. It's a, a lot quieter than the other deluxe resorts because it is tucked away. They have a great pool, great restaurants, um, beautiful lobby, beautiful rooms. So I would recommend this based on your type of trip. If you've been to Disney World a few times, if you're okay, if you maybe if you're going to do a park day here or there and you don't need to rush back to the room for a break, this would be a pretty good spot. Or if you have big animal fans in your family, this would also be a pretty magical spot. The last two resorts I'm going to mention are actually Disney Vacation Club resorts in entirety. Saratoga Springs and Old Key West. Old Key West is the OG Disney Vacation Club resort. It's like a legit vacation. These are going to be the only Disney Vacation Club resorts on property that in their standard room will have two queen beds. All the others are going to have one queen bed and then a pull-out sofa. And these Disney Vacation Club rooms at Old Key West are actually the largest standard rooms as well. Old Key West and Saratoga Springs are both only a boat ride away to Disney Springs, making it super easy to get there. So if you're looking for um, a great dinner, just hop on a boat. Uh, Saratoga is actually walkable, which is pretty sweet. Both of these resorts are pretty large and spread out. Um, something to keep in mind. They have a variety of rooms um, for families of all shapes and sizes. So if you're looking for a big family getaway, I would totally recommend a Disney Vacation Club resort here. So out of the Epcot, Animal Kingdom, Disney Springs resorts, which one would you stay at? Leave me a comment below and give the video a like, thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. You know which one I would pick, Beat Club, Boardwalk. I would totally be in the Epcot area. Love them all. Um, you can't go wrong with any of them. Thank you so much. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks again. See you guys next time.